Hey guys, it's Rojo Inc. And today we're going to be starting something a little bit different. So, today we're going to be going into Sibelius and we are going to start to compose an orchestration piece. So, pretty much what I mean by this is this is not a tutorial, but I'm actually going to be working on composing a song on video. Um, so, I just want to give you guys a quick little um, preview of a song that I already have. Um, we're going to be using the Note Performer uh, plugin. Uh, I have the trial version uh, because I, I do not want to spend $130 to get it. Um, but, but yeah, let's go ahead. Let's uh, open this up. Uh, this is just a little piece that I've been working on. Uh, so here you guys uh, go so you can hear it a bit. Uh, first, let's open up the transport window and let's play this. All right, so I'm not going to play this last piece because I'm still working on that. But we're going to be composing a song. Uh, we're going to be using uh, the, probably the same layout of instruments. Um, so yeah, so let me just give you guys a quick little overview of what's going on here. And then we'll go into the actual uh, orchestration part of the video. So in the beginning, uh, we have the violins uh, playing in octaves. Uh, they're playing the melody. The violist playing a little uh, counterpart. Um, so yeah, it's it's almost like the melody, but not quite there. Um, it's a harmonization, and then here you can see uh, instead of having a uh, eighth note triplet, it has a quarter note to an eighth note, and then here um, down here it's doing a uh, a contrary motion to the to the violins. Um, so for this video, I expect you guys to know some aspects of music theory. Uh, so the, like I said, this is not going to be a tutorial. Uh, sure, I will give uh, some mini lessons along the way. Like, okay, we're going to be using a five chord or like these are the notes in the five chord. And uh, uh, you guys could hear notes playing right now. Uh, that's because I actually purchased a MIDI keyboard. So I think that's really cool. Uh, I'll be talking about that in a later video, but... Yeah, so I expect you guys to know a little bit of music theory. If not, you guys can stick around and try to see if you could learn something. Or uh, if not, well, I'm sorry, this is not the video for you. But yeah, so like I said, the violins are playing in octaves. The viola is playing a harmonization part. I gave the uh, the cello, the violoncello, I gave it a um, like a tempo type of part. So bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, bum. So let's go ahead and listen to that on its own. And it's pizzicato. Oh, wrong thing. Um, all right, so from the beginning, all right. So it's keeping the tempo in here. That's just to um, do something contrary to the moving line of the of the melody and harmony. Uh, because here they're moving bum 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 so I decided to just give the cello a bum 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 uh, sort of thing and then uh, let's let's move on to the bass so I'm using the contrabass in the string section and it's uh, just pizzicato uh, doing uh, arpeggiation of the notes in the chord so here we have a B flat chord uh, so it's just going between the one and the five of the chord. And that's pretty much what it does throughout the whole song. Just one five, one five of every single chord. 
Uh, so yeah. And then in measure five, well, in measure four, uh, beat four, the piccolo just does a whole scale run of, well, does a whole run of the scale and then comes in with the melody as well. The, then in measure nine, uh, the flute and the flute and the oboe come in. Uh, they're doubling the the piccolo just an octave lower. Um, and here, what the piccolo is doing is a little bit different from the actual melody. So uh, let's listen to that compared with the melody with the first violin. Tension and then resolves. Um, so pretty much what it's doing, it's doing something similar to the melody, but it does have some, some different aspects of it. Like down here, um, it goes down to a G when, when the melody is up at a, at, at a C. Um, but yeah, and then also in measure nine, the, the clarinet and the alto sax come in with the triplet. Pa, 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 Um, so that continues out through the whole song pretty much. And then here in, um, letter B or measure uh, uh, 19, 18, 17, measure 17, the entire ensemble comes in, especially the the brass. So what I want to do here is play, uh, I just want to play the, the brass section. Uh, we're not going to have the the lower octaves playing the melody uh, just because I want, I really want the, the bass line to come out. So yeah, I decided to give the bass line a non-static part, a moving part. So bum 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 bum, and then uh, it's uh, static right here while the while the melody is going down. Bum 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 bum, and then again it has the same the same uh, thing in this measure. And then over here, while the melody is holding a note, I decided to give the the bass line a moving part. So it's going up the scale one, two, three, four. Uh, so yeah. And then the the percussion. Uh, let's hear it on its own, uh, excluding the mallets. All right, so um, excuse the, the like it's not precisely on tempo; it's just the the software. Um, yeah, okay, let's go ahead. Let's listen to the whole brass with the percussion. So let's play it. So I gave it something similar to the to the um. I don't know. I gave it something sort of similar. The snare with the with the bass line, I think it goes really well. Bom ba bom, and then the snare is doing taka taka tan. Uh, so yeah, I think that goes really well. And then uh, over here, uh, there, uh, the melody is holding a note. So is the trumpets with their counter melody. So yeah, the, the trumpets are playing a counter melody along with the trombones, and then the horns are just uh, building chords while the bass line's moving on its own. So yeah, uh, most of the melody and the harmonizations and counter melodies are holding a note. Uh, the oboe is has a tension note over here, so the D, and then it resolves down to the C, uh, while the clarinets are still doing their ta -ta 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 -ta. Um, I also decided to give the alto saxophone the, the trumpet counter melody. It's doubling it down an octave, I believe. No, I, I, I think it's... um. In the same octave, but yeah, I decided to give it the the me the counter melody there as well, so it's no longer um, playing the triplets with the clarinets. So uh, yeah, and then it resolves um, the whole ensemble resolves to a B flat chord, and then uh, starting the the second part. Uh, let me just give you guys a quick well what I have so far the second part. Uh, so let's start right here on the five chord.
So I decided to give uh, the the clarinet, piccolo, and flute the bum 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 bum. bum. So I I thought it would be better uh, to add a uh, a triplet instead of uh, instead of having like a a sixteenth note run. That's what I had initially, but then I decided you know oh, well let's give it some uh, rhythmic variance in here. So uh, yeah, we're doing that. Also, it'll be able to go up to the to the B flat. Uh, so yeah, bum 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 bum. If I would have done uh, 16 notes, it would have gone up to the B flat, and then it would stay on the B flat on the dun dun. So I decided to not do that. So now let's go ahead and um, let's close on the program completely, so we don't run out of our time in Note Performer. But yeah, let's go ahead and let's work on starting a new composition. This will be good as well, just so I could get a new piece going. So a lot of the times. I really do not have something that I want that I want to keep. So I'm really gonna try my best to uh, to get it some to get this piece somewhere that I would like it. So again, we're gonna go with same layout: piccolo, flute, one oboe, uh, just so they could uh, the piccolo and the oboe could could uh, double the the um. Sorry, the flute and the oboe could dub double the piccolo down an octave. Uh, let's add the alto, tenor, berry sax, bassoon, contra bassoon, just so we could have some uh, bass line up in the woodwinds. Uh, so two two instruments playing the bass line, the berry sax and the contra bassoon, probably the bass clarinet. Um, so we're going to add three horns just so they can make a full triad. We're going to add two trumpets, uh, two trombones, um, Let's add a bass trombone like we had in the previous one. Tuba, now let's go ahead and rearrange this. I like having the trumpets above the, the French horns, just the higher voices. Uh, I like to organize them by by voices, such as score, so like score order. Um, I don't think I had a timpani in the previous one, so let's add bass drum, two cymbals. One of them is going to be a crash cymbal, the other one is going to be a suspended cymbal. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and organize that. Move the snare drum up and the bass drum down. Uh, now pitch percussion. We're going to have uh, orchestral bells, xylophone, uh, and uh, vibraphone as well. That'll be good for uh, like triplets and, and runs and also giving the bells the melody. So let's go ahead and add the string section. So two violins, a viola. A uh, cello and a contrabass. Okay, so this looks about right. We'll always be able to change it. Uh, so yeah, uh, you may have seen that the the name that I'm giving the other piece is Pleasant Skies. It's not a permanent thing, uh, but that's what I have right now. So this this composition we're gonna have it in E flat major. Um, the title. I. Still don't know. Uh, Twenty seventeen, because why not? Uh, composer, there we go. So title, hmm. What could we name this? All right. Usually, when I'm coming up with a title, I like to look at my desktop background. And just like it gives me. It gives me like an idea. So the reason why I performed or I uh, played the the composition that I showed you guys was because I want to have a similar theme, sort of like um, light, and then the brass came in with the heavy like bassline and everything. I don't know if we're gonna have a heavy bassline in this one, but yeah. So, hmm, I don't know what to call it yet. So. That that could wait. So right now, let's go ahead. Let's change this real quick to tabloid, and let's create it. Here we go. So I usually like to start with the string sections. Uh, I'll start building building something there. So usually, what I do is a one four five of five chord, and then uh, five. So uh, do dominant uh, secondary dominant in the third measure so we're in E flat let me just MIDI keyboard sorry too too low let's bring it up all right E flat 
So. Okay, yeah, let's go down one octave. So, E flat. And then we're going up to the four, so that would be A, I believe. Yeah, A. So, uh, then it'll be. No, let's go up. Mm, A. And then the five of five would be F, so. And then we add the, the five chord, which would be uh, B. So let's just, yeah, let's do that. Um, so here, bum, bum, bum. Let's, uh, let's go up to the three. Oh, uh, desktop, compositions, and then, yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Well, let's close this. I don't want you OneDrive. Um, so, bum, 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 bum. So, so let's listen to this. Uh, and it's also going to be pizzicato, so let's just... Let's do that. And then let's also make it staccato, because I usually like to double it with the, contra the contrabassoon. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and listen to this real quick. All right, so yeah, um, I don't know how that sounds, just changing that note. Yeah, I like that better. So just doing that. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna repeat this as well. I usually like to have eight bar phrases. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be forte. Then we're gonna add the violoncello. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna give the, the cello the melody in this one. So I did that with another piece, uh, which I called Journey into the Woodlands. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, see how are we gonna do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, too low. Still too low. Hmm. No. And then. Hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Hmm. Um. Nope. Ah, oh, cross buns. <laughs> but no, that that's not what we're what we're going for. So bum bum. No. No. Or maybe we might add the accidental. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, yeah. I, I like that. Da -da 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 All right, and we're going to make this forte. Da -da 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 Or that could be a harmonization, but no. Nah. All right, so. Let's see this. So we're in, okay, so we changed to a flat chord. 
So A flat, C, and E flat. Hmm. So we could keep it at the A flat right here. I don't know how that sounds. I think I could do that and then uh dun, dun. yeah and then and then here we could do 16th notes and then that'll be nope uh <laughs> All right. Ba -da 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 -da. Actually, let me see how this sounds if I give it to the... Yeah, I think that actually suits the violins better. So uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the one four five 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 uh, progression, and I think we're just gonna repeat that throughout the whole song. That way, we won't have to keep changing and changing and probably go into a different church mode. So uh, I'm just gonna keep it in that style. Dun, 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 dun. I think that's what, that's what I'm going to do for the viola. So, dun, 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 dun. Um, we're in E flat. Yeah, so. Oh. Uh, bum. Bum. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, okay, and then we go into the four chord, so A, then we, okay, so the violas have a B there, they go down to the A, yeah. Alright, let's make this forte just so we could hear it a bit more. Alright, so you can't really hear the viola because it's the weakest uh, string instrument in the ensemble, so let's do that. Yeah, so we could do that and then it goes to F. So we could I think we could keep that. Uh, well, it's B flat. Wait, this is B flat. Mm. Okay, there we go. All right, and then you have to B flat there. Um, I think we're gonna have to keep it down here because then it'll be uh, A and then C. So yeah, th that'll fit. That'll fit, and then goes to B flat. So 
Okay, I think we're gonna have to do do that because then it goes up to the the D. So um, da 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 So it's gonna be a little bit different there. Uh, I don't know how that is though. Let's let's listen to that. So here. Oh nope, did not mean to do that. Um, da 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 B flat. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do an A natural there, and then. Oh. Huh. Sorry, vibraphone. Did not mean to do that to you. All right. So let's listen to that. I think I'm gonna have to do uh, a slur there. I don't really, I don't really like that. What if I just do that? How would that be? And then I'll adjust the viola in a bit. I think what I could do here is just that. Ta -da. So yeah, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do for the first four measures. And dang, you see how long it took just to compose four measures. Yeah, it takes a long time to for well for me to come up with some ideas to um, to to compose a song. But yeah, this is this is usually the process of a composer. Uh, I'm just a, I consider myself a beginner. I've only been composing for about six or seven months. So I don't have too much experience, but I do know some of the basics. Uh, I know some of the secondary functions, um, but I really haven't gone past that. I don't know how to use, like, I only know how to use the five of five chord. Uh, I don't know how to use any of the other secondary, secondary chords. I'm just looking at my uh, drum pad. Let's play a tritone. All right, but yeah, so I don't know how to use like the two, the two of five or any of those secondary, secondary chords. Um, but but I'll learn how to use them soon. <laughs> um, but for right now, uh, I'm just sticking to the to the basics that I know. So. Uh, See this da 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 uh, yeah, let's... No, let's keep it there. So, alright. Let's make this an eighth note. Da -da -da -da. 
ta 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 so here we could go hmm I don't really like that. How would that sound? Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do that. That's gonna be dissonance because I'm gonna add a an A. Uh, this is E flat. We're adding a fourth, but it's not on the on beat, so I think I'm good. How was that? Let's uh, make a forte. Yeah, I think I think it's good in that case. Like I said, I don't have too much experience, but but I I, I feel like it's okay in that case. Oh. Oh, that doesn't really matter now because we're gonna be changing. Changing up this part. Ta ra 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 ra. Ta ra. Uh, so here it's the key of A. So you could go to a C, I believe. And then, hey, let's see this. Oh no, not we're not having that. We're keeping, we're keeping that flat. <laughs> Uh, okay, so here it's A natural. No, A flat, sorry. Uh, could we do that? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I think I think we could do that. Da -da 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 I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do half notes there. So... It's gonna be we're in B flat, so B flat. Mm. Let's let's see how that sounds. Yeah, I think I think that's okay. Um, so yeah, it took us about 20 minutes to compose uh four bars and that's oh god that that's that's a long time uh michael giacchino i don't know if i pronounce pronounced that right uh, i'm sorry if i butchered his name but he he composed the music for rogue one and he composed that in two months so either he didn't sleep at all he's really fast at composing or both uh so so yeah let's let's um let's keep working on this for a bit ta ra 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 phone please stop um so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna repeat that yeah and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the the flute no the piccolo command uh should i make it do a whole scale run i think we could uh okay so here uh let's let's make that a half half rest okay but you're gonna be a quarter rest and then uh 16th notes all right so we're in the key of e flat so you're starting on an uh nope up an octave yeah i think yeah but you're gonna be uh not a 30 second note sorry there we go 16th note uh there we go 
Da, hmm. I'm gonna go up an octave, and then C D. Oh no. <laughs> Oh. And then here it comes in with ooh, F. Oh, that's way too high. Okay, so probably not the best thing to do. B flat. Hmm. Well, instead of having a septuplet, well, let's get rid of all that. I think I could have straight eighth notes. Oh, all right. Um. Oh, sorry about that. Uh, and let's bring this down an octave. So yeah, let, let's let's listen to that. I usually like to make the piccolo come in with the melody as well. So let's do that. You couldn't really hear that, so. And then here, I think. Because it's not in the high register, so you can't really hear that. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do here. Up an octave, and then it's going to jump down to the B flat. So, it's going to be... Alright. Yeah, so that sounds better. And let's slur it. Alright, yeah, but I think this is too much. I think that's how I'm going to have it. So let's see. So yeah, you could hear the viola better. Yeah, that's... I think that's better. Alright, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this episode. Yeah, we composed 8 bars of string and added the piccolo. And uh, yeah, that's only... It's a little bit. But I think what we're going to shoot for in this uh, mini-series is going to be about 32 measures of music. Uh, that should be roughly about a minute, I believe. Like a minute and a half. Or a minute. Yeah, I think it's a minute of music. But, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more. Um, I know this was sort of uh, slow at first. But this is just a... a um, this is just the beginning once we actually get into the groove and everything. Uh, once we have a basic plan, then we're able to push forward. Uh, so, so yeah. But in the meantime, I'm going to be trying to get some ideas for this song and uh, give it a name. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video and if you would like to see more, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and big my brother, guys. Until next time, I'm Rohotin, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.